Third Ed's presentation, and I ha Ed is an absolute gentleman, and I know that he believes what he said, but I think that Ed's remarks to you were looking at this project through rose-colored glasses. The first... But the first uh, order of business for any government at any level, city, county, state, federal, protection of its people. It's ensure the safety, health, and welfare of the people that they represent. That's why I'm here. Issue number one with this thing, and issue number two, and issue number three, is safety, safety, and safety. Uh, we've heard that uh, $10 million is coming this way, I think that's, uh, I think that's a, 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 a conglomeration of all the monies to be paid Linden, Staten Island, Bayonne, New Jersey. I've only heard about $2 million. Not that, that, not that any amount of money would, uh, could uh, replace a, 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 a risk factor. Uh, the other big problem here is the risk and benefit assessment. Originally, what I've heard, and Ed seems to have changed that a little tonight, and I appreciate that. But originally, this was to get natural gas to our good friends over in New York City. So the benefit flows to them. The risk comes right through just about the entire length of our city, Jersey City. The folks on the other side of the Hudson will reap the benefits and we will bear the risks here in Jersey City. The, the, uh, the, 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 the numbers just don't add up, uh, the $2 million and, and that, tremendous, that tremendous risk. It's coming out, we are a densely populated city and county for that matter. Uh, the most densely populated in the state of New Jersey and one of the most densely populated in the, these United States. This particular pipeline is going to go through a pop, several population centers, uh, public parks, schools, hospitals, commercial plants, industrial plants, including Tropicana. It's going to go by, uh, going to come all the way just about the full length of our city, make a right going east, where then it will descend uh, under the Hudson River. Uh, my point is that all of those people, all of those business are going to be put at risk for this pipeline if something bad happens. And unfortunately, we know bad things can happen even under the most the best intention projects. It's gonna go right right next to our downtown financial district in Jersey City. There's over 22,000 jobs there. And that financial district impacts not only the greater New York metropolitan area, it's the, the entire country, it is in fact impacts the world economy. We had two water line breaks just last year in that vicinity. Jersey City received a phone call from the Under Secretary of the Treasury, not because of the United States, not because they're worried about Jersey City, they're worried about the United States and the world market, the world economy. We impact the world economy because of the financial jobs and structures that exist in downtown Jersey City. My point is, we have the, we have the Holland Tunnel, we have the New Jersey Turnpike, we have the path trains. We have our light rail, our bus transportation. This is a transportation hub. It's running right alongside of the turnpike. It's, it's crossing over the light rail. It comes very close to the path, to several path stops in Jersey City, not to mention the Holland Tunnel. Uh, so there's so much at risk at, by this route. We, we would much prefer that this pipeline take a diagonal northeastern route under the Hudson River, thereby bearing the
and to avoid making what we consider very valuable land in our city and, and, and going down towards the Hudson River on the north end, of, uh, nor towards the north end of our city, for future investment, future development, which brings in more tax dollars and jobs for our citizens all in the future. This pipeline, and by the way, from what I've been told by the experts, it's uh, 8 to 12,000 PSI, which is very high, I've been told, the gas pressure in these pipelines. A pipeline of that magnitude, of course, is going to be a tremendous disincentive for any private entity to come in and buy this land, invest in this land, develop on this land, build on this land, bring tax dollars and jobs to our city. I, I would have to believe that it would only be either a, a, a foolhardy company or someone deemed a, a dying to risk everything that would build any kind of a serious structure over this type of a pipeline. Uh, bottom line is, we really don't want this in Jersey City. We Selection of the route 
which is situated next to schools, homes, and businesses. A state of New Jersey, a state of New Jersey approved EIS has not been made a part of this federal approval process. Please instruct your staff to demand that an EIS be done before any decision is made. That's a state approval. Please instruct the DEP commissioner to not, to not approve any taking or swapping of public parkland for this project. Please instruct the DOT commissioner not, not to grant permission for the use of any state waterway or right-of-way for this project. <laughs> instruct the attorney general to file the appropriate legal objections to this proceeding and when necessary, file any and all lawsuits necessary to stop this project. on current Bayonne and Jersey City residents, as well as all future economic development, housing, and public school construction near to this route. It is bad enough that New York City wants to dump their garbage on us. <laughs> but to absorb the negative impact of heating their buildings goes too far. Sincerely. Senator Sandra B. Cunningham, 31st Minister.